this is a bag I had removed now from my property. I did a recap yesterday. I went over the whole thing. And it was like nasty, nasty, nasty. Full of... Um, full of uh, dust mixture that you would get from the batteries that explode. And the reason for that is that I did cap batteries uh, due to fear that, due to paranoia they incited in me, destruction of the batteries, I did cap them in like a little black uh, box I'm going to demonstrate you right now. And I just want you to remember these two things here because I'm going to take this one here with me. Yeah, I'm going to put this one back like this. We're going to do it. So I'm going to demonstrate to you a difference between actually how you can drive person insane if the person is insecure about himself and it was the stuff that was done to me on million other things with absolutely everything that's why i already know the technology behind it eventually right now i started to even doubt myself that the length of the spoon uh, was the one that the length of the spoon was the one that that the length of the spoon corresponded with um, a normal size when it comes to this vitamins. Okay, so <clears throat> this video is going to go to the internet so I can demonstrate to you what police was doing inside in here. What kind of stuff they were doing inside in here. Yesterday I did the recap, nice. Uh, so for me to say to reduce the stuff uh, I carry with me. Uh, and so let me explain to you what psychiatrists are doing. And moreover, the police officers who bragged to me, they, they were proud about, uh, about the stuff they learned during the investigations people do and, you know, They implemented the crime against me through the stuff, uh, studying mistakes people do, maybe even common mistakes, uh, which are rather related to a very heavy mental, I would say, deficiency issues from my point of view. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate to you how the psychiatry, just in this case, this is one case. But what you see here, I'm going to present it, this is just one case. But what you see here was done to me with at least 1,000 other scenarios. The same like you push like an MK Ultra scenario, um, like at the physician I visited on April the 13th, 2023, two days ago. They totally went over certain MK Ultra procedure in the area of this uh, General Hospital Novo Mesto. However, inside of that hospital, inside of that area, they have orchestrated, they have engineered probably at least, I estimate, minimum like 50, five, zero different MK Ultra incidents. Uh, paranoia, basically inciting somebody to see something that doesn't exist, but that pertain to the certain political issue, the same way was done with the personal belongings, especially. And they were really, really, really interpersonal with it. I'm going to start for this matter. I mentioned to you batteries. Yes, batteries that exploded were stored inside in here, in this box. And once upon a time, 
there was something blowing around me and I did not understood what the fuck went on because inside of the backpack everything was nice everything was perfect there was no problem there was nothing to worry about everything was just fine uh, except for one thing one thing was not fine um, what was not fine is that uh, according to MK Ultra, I don't know what they had the scenario already for the batteries exploding. Uh, oh yeah, the scenario for the batteries exploding were empty bottles, which directed energy would uh, uh, squeeze and then uh, release the pressure. Why would they do this stuff? Because of my blood pressure issues, which I have since 2017, 24-7. Um, the cancer is a funny thing. I don't have a blood pressure issues only. But cancer is a funny thing, which I started to affiliate, according to the brainwasher, the police officers, to the high altitudes. They would take me to the Tershka Gora, let's say. And they knew exactly what's going on with the cancer issues. Um, thrombosis, whatever problem they have developed in my left foot, had probably something to do with it. Or I should say something next to whatever they have developed in my right arm area. Um... And so when you're drugged up, and when this stuff goes on for 26 years, literally for 26 years, but the whole thing is going for no less than 30 years now. Um, yes, what's going to happen is you will start to believe that your common knowledge when it comes to altitude, that when you go to the hill even, that you start your eardrums to vibrate. And so you will start to believe that the bank from the battery with next to the empty bottles, just as I was brainwashed, is actually being produced by directed energy weapon. Because now your ears no longer are even popping up. It starts when you go uphill. It started when I, when I went uphill. That's interesting. That the ear eardrum would just pull and push inside inwards um that's how it all started but it ended with air drums doing the same thing inside of the room when i where where i sit it that's how it it progressed basically the problem which they had developed chronically during mk ultra when butchering me literally when doing this is not human experimentation. This is not a human experimentation. This is malicious way to destroy, to, to, to chop somebody piece by piece, basically going spine destroyed, um, uh, lymph node cancer, yes, uh, kidney problem, yes, um, heart problem, yes, basically, check mark next to everybody. That's what, uh, to every every issue that's what this is okay so it was batteries that were exploding i learned once i opened the box this box here once upon the time as i stated it was dirty with a hearing aid inside uh what they refer to me during mk ultra that Going through the same issues, yes, it was Germans also involved in it, all the international crew in this stuff. It was what to do, what to do, how dangerous the batteries are, uh, like for the hearing aid batteries. Uh, just throw away, throw away the whole thing, throw away the whole thing. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Uh, so I clean it up, everything nice and neat. Um separated batteries learn that batteries cannot be together nice uh, everything like new all right uh then what happened was uh, 
I don't actually know what happened. I don't know exactly what happened. And in a little bit, you will start to understand me then what happened. Because oh. it's going to be about this bag here. So I promised you in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how the police, how the psychiatrists uh, convince somebody uh, that something is wrong with him anyways. Or maybe even dement you to degree that you you go in a that you drive uh, and go in the opposite side of the direction of the road or something like this due to you know due to stress due to due to bullshit uh, due to what I saw and realized as is a pattern of wrong thinking the pattern development of the pattern which is uh, a pattern that starts to as soon as uh, listen up folks this is why this is so important for you whoever you're watching this program yeah um going one time wrong it's okay you know to the certain degree making the mistakes it's okay um question is how much of those mistakes you can afford um this also pertains to this issue um I, not right now there is already physicians and doctors you know no no well those are just eccentric people those are just the people that are just what I would rate I as a top, with the top knowledge of psychiatry, I would rate like, like no other psychiatrist in this world, knowledge. I would rate this like eccentric, average, stressed out more than not, people uh, who learn to live by a certain patterns, which it's like, um, you would say if, in all times, you would say, if you don't want the problems, you just buy a German car, you buy Volkswagen or something like this. Or if you don't want the problems or something like this, you just buy a German uh, Adidas uh, or, I don't know, Nike or something like this. Yeah, this is rather like a corporate bullshit culture in my, in my view. You know, in my view... Um, if you don't want the problems, basically, you just go with the brand, basically. But the truth is that the world changed a lot since. Uh, and today, there is a variety of alternatives that, you, that one can use to get around and get himself better even than original for far less. Uh, or I should say the original. Now that's just stupid. Better than the brands that are advertised like a gucci or whatever volkswagen or something like this you can get for way less way better uh so i rate that kind of stuff because i'm saying this because there was also people foreign people that pushed down throw this issue very issue to me as a nuisance as a nonsense as bullshit you know this is just for the people that are highly insecure about themselves people that basically they dream if you ask me in a certain uh, to the certain degree people like this do they dream for me the mind allows even a certain tolerance of let's say not cleaning the room a certain tolerance of uh, certain issues uh, sometimes uh, this is advanced what i'm talking about right now even deliberately not cleaning the room, maybe even deliberately not doing something. So that I drive myself a little bit insane deliberately till I resolve a certain issue. Like I stated, this is advanced. Most of the people shouldn't even do the stuff like this. But my case is very, 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 very special case um i don't i don't actually i don't um how can i say that the, the the type of the corporate attitude 
has a numbers. Yeah. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then it's an X. What exactly that means? That means that by the age 20, you will develop from a medical um, book this and this and this and this disease, if you will. Yeah. Uh, the woman is in her prime to give birth to baby at, I don't know, 25 or whatever. Um, according to, not really biologically, but uh, that really doesn't matter because, well, faculties, universities, that kind of stuff does. Uh, and then it's like age 30. Um, you know, if you if you observed for every disease that is out there, they have classified age, right? And then it's age 40, and then it's age 50. Most of the people experience at age 50. And then, again, um, people in their 60s, tra -la -la, most percentage this and that. You know? Yeah, you understand the corporate culture now? That's a called corporate culture. So... Uh, the corporate culture is such that also dictates somebody like myself who was hijacked. I'm not going to go why, because I was very, I did, pointed out the reasons like, you know, nobody possibly could have other than myself. Uh, also demands, uh, you know, to destroy the person completely, those check marks that I, you know, even that those check marks, they started to build already in 95 with Milan Kucha and Borut Pahor here in Slovenia. Totally insane. They demanded from Americans to have those check marks fulfilled as soon as possible, as fast as possible. So that throughout this criminal case, they could always exercise, I'm not going to say certain degree of control, but total control according to their necessities. Basically destroy me, uh, causing me as much as possible physical harm that they would use at their advantage against me. This is Milan Kuchan, this is Borut Pahor, this is Tanya Fayon. Tanya Fayon, Mesets by the people, uh, Danilo Turk, Janis Darnoshek, uh, what they refer to even as ex-communists from Yugoslavia people, the so-called leftists. They had nothing to do with the leftism, nor they had anything to do, anything in common with the communism. But this is how it was, and Americans did absolutely everything to give my body and my soul to this um, scum, for me to say, on plate, literally, yeah? And so, my case is 30 years, 30 years of, 26 years, literally, of butcheries. It's not human experimentation when they do the stuff like this. Uh, and so, uh, Americans were not innocent in respect uh, of what I stated because they wanted to accomplish all kinds of issues on me. So they, people like Joe Biden, let's say, uh, people like Bill Clinton, let's say, could use me as much as possible to scan American, and they did, American health care system, hospitals, uh, even universities uh, for finding which physicians they could benefit from and here and there to even destroy some physician which rather brought severe tensions between the democratic and republican party war basically uh, maybe not really but a definitely one more excuse to see nothing to hear nothing to know nothing yeah so today we are talking about the issue pertaining to 
uh, how the regular, just to give you a refreshment, we don't want to wander away too far, how irregularities are actually maybe even a mental illness is accepted uh, by the people as uh, something that in fact doesn't exist and it's done through MK Ultra. Okay, so I sorted out this issue out and now I'm going to sort it out this issue which I already somewhat have touched at the postal office. What do you see here? You see here a lot of stuff stashed inside and so I'm going to use this little spawn to pop this stuff out like this. And what you're going to get basically is what you see right there and I did complain about this kind of issue. Uh, as a matter of fact, about having stamped what you see right there with what looked like, just as I promised, the case is going to be there in MK Ultra. It's going to look like uh, uh, A. And they were telling me one is going to look like this, another one is going to look like that. Uh, one is already gone because... I realize it needs to go. This is going to be another one. Probably that will go. I will test one. Um, this one also they stamped. You can see the marks right there. Uh, but it's different. Uh, I was promised this is going to be the case. This is what the case is going to be. No matter what. But this here. This is like... <laughs> uh, you see this hair here and stuff like this which it's like this because this stuff is not finished yet for one thing but the second thing is this color in particular which about some 20 police officers played inside of the room with this kind of stuff with the painting dials this is for the watch you know, this is for the analog watch. Um, and probably another 20, maybe even 30 people. Talking about maybe 50 people. Politicians like Emmanuel Macron. Uh, politicians like the whole bunch of people played with this kind of stuff. Um, that I ended up actually having a Chinese demonstrating everybody on how that kind of stuff is even manufactured i don't know if they demonstrated to everybody they didn't demonstrate me shit uh but they did mention some some portion of it they did which under mk ultra unfortunately nothing comes to mind until you do it yourself basically but then you you're awarded because i did find myself all of a sudden walking in the street in the china uh, where there were little shops uh, in the rear of these shops of this street however next to these shops were a little factories but these are the factories you buy the watches from when you shop at aliexpress or ebay and you purchase the products from china with uh, chinese friends i'm gonna say um uh, who told me they sell this kind of custom products uh, on the internet and so on and so forth, you know? Uh, so, for me to say, I did explain the issue behind where the batteries were, how they exploded, uh, but I didn't come to this bag yet. And I did explain the issues behind these marks, and... Uh, these are the issues uh, that alone would not make any connection. And to make the connection with what I was going to video record, but I will not. I was just going to video record stamp, stamp, uh, spoon, uh, bigger size. Uh, was inside I found 
uh, in a bag that is just uh, covered with dust which came out of uh, dust, not really chemicals, basically rather metal which came out of uh, batteries and so on. This, this was to be the story, but I realized that I owe myself a little bit more, as a matter of fact, my viewers a little bit more so they can pay also attention to their own life on how things are, you know? Um, anyhow, the psychiatrist, psychologist claimed me during MK Ultra that MK Ultra is a schizophrenia. Well, the MK Ultra is not a schizophrenia. These are totally two different issues. And uh, let me resolve the issue hiding behind the psychiatrists who uh, oftentimes Oh, most often times, I would say probably 99%, you're going to have a psychiatrist to whom you will go, um, unless you're going to go on your own, and you're going to bump into psychiatrist that was not involved in your MK Ultra case, you're going to always have a psychiatrist if you're going to be referred through the police or you're going to be referred through uh, justice law system through the hospital something you're always going to be referred to the psychiatrist that is involved in mk ultra just remember what i stated you and those guys those guys if there is any decent psychiatrist out there don't know those guys are a super con artists working for the government simple as this and those guys don't know your uh, a regular average, I should say, rather, yeah? Uh, what uh, most of the people would refer to as a normal thinking patterns, but I don't see this as normal because it's a world that is very, very abnormal. So it's time to update. And there is no video out there from anybody who would have a capacity to do the stuff like I do. And I said to myself, why not? Let's make a video for the people, educational video to demonstrate basically on how this stuff is done, okay? Just like police officers very frequently these people work together with police force in the background meeting police officers, uh, uh, police stations and so on. You're going to have an individual who's going to be meeting you uh, will be interpreting you uh, issues, uh, so to say, not what I'm going to demonstrate you right now. This is something advanced I'm demonstrating you right now, uh, but he's going to be acting like encouraging and understanding of something that you alone uh, have in your subconscious started to believe because they're going to involve violent psychiatrists and they're going to involve nice psychiatrists. And, of course, uh, they're going to take advantage against you through abuse and through the fear, through the terror, you will start to see yourself in a so-called nice psychiatrist. This is usually the psychiatrists that have caused you more harm than anybody and is more familiar with doing harm to you than any other psychiatrist that was that such was my case basically uh, just so before i still move on onto the next issue which is really a rather important issue uh, necessary chemical component is going to be this spoon here in this bag here that's what we're going to concentrate on, you know. Uh, for this damage here to, to cause harm as much as possible, for this, what they refer to me is going to be a stamp, and the other one is going to be this, and they tormented and tormented, talking about the police investigators with this issue. For instance, Rog de Braves, that's... Um, with the university degree, mechanical engineering university degree, individual was married to a wife, was a daughter from the local watchman also. 
and he loved to play with this stuff and appeared was even selling this stuff to politicians during visitations, during their visits. Even that kind of stuff happened. Um, I was told that you're going to have to do it again. You're going to have to do it again. If you will not do it again, you're going to have a stamp that will remain um, that will remain uh, on your watch dial and you're always going to think about how we did the damage to you and this and that. I could even live with this stamp to tell you the truth, but no, I will not. I, will, I could even live with this stamp because all the watches I got destroyed from the postal office it rather makes me feel good because these are the guys who did are the guys who's going to have their balls torn apart away. These are, the ba these are the guys whom I'm going to tear their balls. You understand? These are the guys who are going to go in the jail. These are the guys in whose necks I'm going to sit for the rest of their miserable fucking life, wherever that's going to be behind bars. So I could put up with watches like this and have them on my wrist uh, maybe even to remind the society not to fuck with my property like police postal services and stuff like this to keep fingers away uh, they're not bad those watches those bow those watches have a far greater meaning but this greater meaning it's always determined by the person who wears the watch uh, if the Nazis gave you some kind of uh, wrist memorabilia uh, during the World War II uh, or around your neck or something like this, there were people that would wear those kind of stuff, uh, I should say Holocaust survivors, and there were some that just shun away uh, those that were not so mentally stable, I would say, due to horrors they endured. But, hmm, <clears throat> I prefer to, to keep those as a good reminder also for what I stated is going to happen no matter what. Um, so, going back to this stuff, either you're going to wear this and that or what's going to happen is, uh, like for instance, this watch. This watch, for this watch was already determined acrylic watch. Um... They did MK Ultra in every store in the city of the Novo Mesto, with every retail worker of the city of the Novo Mesto involved in it. And it was not only the Novo Mesto, but it was also in Brezice and it was also in Trebne. Mm. With a lot of shops, but not every, and maybe even every retail worker, not only every shop involved in it. Do you understand? And next to that, you also have restaurants and stuff like this. Do you understand the meaning of what I stated to you? And in Bela Kraina, in Chernobyl, and so on. That's like in a region here, for me to say, in radius like a 50 kilometers. Radius. Talking about the radius, so 100 kilometer diameter. That's fucking scary, isn't it? But I stated, 26 years of MK Ultra will do the stuff like this, and that's why I stated I'm a top with the knowledge, with a greater knowledge than any psychiatrist has. Uh, what police officers had common with the psychiatrists, and yes, I agree that to a certain extent, uh, these two professions are part of one another because when investigating crimes and stuff, uh, often psychiatrists do have to evaluate issues too and give their opinion out, also for courts and stuff like this. Um, oftentimes it's coming also to due to busy uh, life patterns and so on these days, is coming to the certain degree of mental uh, patterns that people you know that you forget something and this and then you blame on somebody or you know because you are in a hurry and something and uh um you know well that's basically when that stuff comes again to play 
which I mentioned at the beginning of this video. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can afford certain degree of error, but don't afford yourself too much of the error. Uh, in a society you meet, yeah, if you're not going to be capable to count for all this here, uh, and two are going to start missing, and then very likely it's going to be the third dot is going to be missing, and the fourth dot, and you're going to really rather look mentally insane, you will start to present hazard for the society, so the psychiatrists will really have to, and the police eventually are going to have to remove you from, now, let's say that these dots are people here, and this whole thing is society, they're going to have to remove you, you, you as a dot from the picture, you know, because too many dots out of nine, let's say, starts to miss on that picture in your head, and you no longer account for. So, you can afford maybe certain tolerance, yes? Um, if you are advanced enough, you can even go and you can remove deliberately certain dots so that you drive yourself a little bit crazy, maybe. I did that. Um, already, to get to the certain issues, like I would work on a project and I would deliberately not remove certain issues that should normally be removed and this and that. Uh, just so I would sort of intoxicate myself to the degree that my mind would finally produce me an answer I wanted to obtain. That kind of stuff I did too. It's all kinds of stuff people do. Uh, strange stuff, maybe. Uh, it's said that Nikola Tesla did not have an orgasm in like, I don't know, 50 years of his life. Can you imagine? He did not even jerk off. Not only he didn't have a girlfriend. What a man. Uh, but anyways, that doesn't mean that he was insane. In a certain, well, in my standards, he was. It's uh, uh, basically taking care of yourself is basically the first thing. Anyways, your needs, basic needs. Yes, that is insane. But, okay, those are my standards, but he still did manage to accomplish a lot for humanity. But that, let's just set this stuff aside, all this stuff. Okay, let's go back. Now, I did point out all these issues. Yes, if you push this too much, I was told by the police officers, um, it all depends on the acrylic paint. If you, if, you, if, you, if you stamp, if you make dots like this, which, in this case, they would probably try to portray these holders here is where you use to put a mechanism from the watch in the rear. Uh, and then you would go, they didn't do this. I bet that this was not it. Uh, because of this stamp here that I was promised is going to be like an A and was also demonstrated in, during MK Ultra. I know that this was just not the case here this still is going to be fixed i bet this one here not but it's not going to be fixed because of other issues uh involving issues not even the issues they did to me but the paint has a problem i realized that there is some kind of discoloration here in the back and it's what rock the brave it's stated me during mk ultra that kind of discoloration the only thing that's going to happen is going to over course of long period of time, the only thing that's going to happen is going to pop open. Stuff like this. It's not good. You have to do it again. So, yeah, of course, we will fix this issue. Yes, indeed. Um, probably with a new job. Nothing else. I probably will not. Next to the stamps they did to me, I will not bother with it. Um, because I deem that for what he stated to me, this kind of different discoloration that that appeared you know those are not stamps this is just discoloration in the background it almost like a mold or something like that for that matter i feel that uh, it's the kind of paint that because 
this was pressed because they did this stamps to me on on this dial uh, that eventually will happen on this one that the paint will uh, give in and it would, even if I would go and fix this stuff probably uh, it's not gonna work out first for this one here it's a different paint I will fix this one here I will keep this one and I probably will also keep this one yeah and i already made these things here and so on so this is the kind of stuff i'm going to keep uh, but the other one i'm not going to keep yeah that's how we're going to do that i already made a decision and also this one we're going to keep so these are these are pretty in my opinion when when it's going to be fixed are going to be quite interesting even somewhat like ocean kind of dial nice nice little dials and this one here we're probably going to have to do it again. So, bam, that's the end of it. I gave you the all in and zins out. The damage uh, as per how the batteries exploded inside in here. I pointed you out the bag, which is all dark from a dust. And I pointed you out the crucial element, the key element for this chemistry. That is a key here okay and i did explain to you about mk ultra sessions how they do the mk ultra sessions you do understand they connect a variety of people they use on a long term uh, and then what they do is they connect these people into what they deem would be a certain issue that would fit them um, so for me to say you have police investigators using also silicone masks during in my case unfortunately it was butchery you are tortured heavily with the severe sleep deprivations uh, with the chronic problems being de developed health physical problems developed along the way then you have a second line you have psychiatrists right next to this and you have a physicians administrating the work of the police officers teaching them on what they want them to perform and then in the in the rear you have a police director let's say and you have a, a psychiatrist who is administering the entire operation i should say uh, psychiatrists who immediately work with police investigators who do that kind of crime um and so in the background as i mentioned police director and or like, let's say police leadership uh and a psychiatrist in the background of that background in my case you had the politicians in ljubljana which were maybe i i would i don't want to use the they they were just really really disturbed not that they would be disturbed with me but they were disturbed with a lot of issues such as is even existence of this nation and so on uh, they would prefer here to have what they have lost in a war during 1991 you know and uh, these are the people who give instructions to police director uh, who coordinates with a psychiatrist which is administrating the whole thing from the background on how and this and that yeah so you're gonna have for every issue uh whichever issue they would want to impact in you you're gonna have a whole team of people working on it and for every issue they're gonna trigger certain issues you know um so that they could accomplish what exactly would they accomplish well it's it's it it splits on two results you know it resolves in two ways you know uh, the first is a terror a lot a lot of terror before they threw me inside a psychiatric hospital in 2013 uh, this was preceded with 18 years of psychiatric terror uh already having me inside of the psychiatric hospitals god knows how many uh and inside of the psychiatric hospital where they threw me inside 
using the psychiatric staff, psychiatrists, uh, which then began here in Slovenia just uh, to even host me inside of the psychiatric hospital. Um, so that's one thing is basically what they use. They use uh, the element uh, that will maybe even, as they insisted me, um, demanded from me to either perform like a Serb in Slovenia, like completely obedient to Serbs in Slovenia, basically to complete demanding complete submission to what was expected from me or be indefinitely destroyed through the psychiatry so these are two branches yes one branch is like you're gonna have to see other way or you're dead when they when they label you as mentally ill you're dead anyways you're just gonna see it their way but you're gonna be dead anyways just remember what I told you. Uh, and the second one is they will continue to trigger uh, MK Ultra sessions pertaining to the politicians and so on and stuff like this uh, to to discredit you. you know? And in this case, it's really important to note that they are so they were so trying to resist me. They were so. Uh, say disobedient, but uh, they were so. Um, hmm, there is expression for that. Um, good word, um, derogatory, derogatory because I am already institution for myself, class for myself because I have proven beyond any doubt with thousands people I have identified locations and so on that my case is real there is no bullshit here there is no like I should say how the fuck you dare to even challenge such authority as I am I am authority at this point in time I know this is characteristics for the people with mental illness but in my case I have proven and you can see that under the list of proofs to have identified in several countries, a whole lot of people, if not around the world, a lot of issues that nobody can prove me wrong because nobody even dare to prove me wrong. So I am authority at this point. And they'll continue to challenge, they'll continue to challenge, they'll continue to challenge, doubt you with involving all kinds of issues, all kinds of issues that would put your credibility at stake anyway anyhow somehow and even more so to destroy you through what is known as an anxiety because they used ambulance vehicles they used psychiatric stuff they use all kinds of issues and so in this case just like a heart lymph node cancer thrombosis kidney it's also mental health. They would like to place as much check mark as possible. That especially is of their interest. Either way, on those branches, um, you got to do with the people whom either you are going to destroy completely or they are going to destroy you. What exactly that means, destroy completely, well, that is something that... I should say is a subject for discussion, but it really is not. I think that everybody involved in this stuff understands what the fuck I mean. When you do the stuff like this to the person, uh, the immune system will trigger a message to him for loss of 30, life, 30 years of life on what his job is. In respect to your issue there is no secret these people understand these people are not shocked surprised and they also understand that i will not be the one negotiating with anybody absolutely any kind of issue so for them 
in my case, it was just a matter of either we're going to do it or he's going to do us and this and that. Uh, and this is a struggle to bring a greater Serbian Chetnik state back on the stage either way here in Slovenia. So this is a struggle for me completely from the end of this people, totally unacceptable. I never will recognize, I never will submit to that kind of struggle. So what that means, it's a civil war in the country. This is the country that is torn apart. It's the country that is brewing in a civil war. Civil war which goes under the table. It's a civil war that goes in the background. But that's, you know, how all this, like you see right now in a Minamar, let's say, that's how all this uh, wars are played out. It always starts in the service, in the sur uh, under the surface, in the background. It never starts on the on the you know. Never nobody ever goes and just attacks somebody. They form certain degree of uh, hostile element, anti-state government inside of the country, and then it comes to economic destabilization uh, and those kind of issues and kinds of tensions and then it's the war that basically explodes. That's just like a regular procedure basically everywhere universal around the world. So now I'm teaching you more than just a psychiatry here. Okay. I was very very thorough about explanation and now I'm gonna go to what triggered me just saying this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this. Still, I stated, and this, this was inside here, uh, and the police officer stated me uh, it's going to be uh, just to uh, remind you, I'm going to put like an oversized uh, spoon inside uh, to remind you that I did this and this and this and this to you. Now, that is a fuck up. That is a real fuck up. Uh, it's like this. Uh, the spoons that you see here of this size, uh, it was my mother that did plant it to me inside of the C vitamin. Uh, or it was a police. It doesn't really matter. Uh, also, a smaller spoon it was a smaller spoon that was in the kitchen area so this spoons this was so small so shitty that those spoons didn't make any fucking sense to me and it's also something that police investigators stated me it's going to be the case but in my head uh it made such a bad impression that the only thing i would usually do is i would even toast those away in a trash bin when in fact it was the most important proof I should have used. I went right now upstairs and I realized that the spoon that I have found inside in here in which I alone placed in there um, this is disputable but I'm gonna suppose that I was the one who placed uh, this spoon here. Oh, let me explain the issue behind this little spoon and my saying I suppose. The I suppose is based on just as you have seen our deliveries to the postal office. My leaving the stuff behind results frequently in one room and go upstairs like I'm downstairs right now and if I would go upstairs my returning back resulted frequently in total destruction of the things uh, cable chargers for the laptop chopped all kinds of stuff destroyed batteries destroyed all, ki all kinds of stuff that like this the least uh, watch balance destroyed watches destroyed all kinds of stuff like that you understand so that it's not that i would learn to pick up the stuff behind me wherever i would go but the psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshow stated me, she assured me that she alone could not be capable to pick up every time this stuff. Uh, was asking me if I'm going to be capable to go 
from one room always to sort inside of the backpack and go from one room to another uh, with my belongings, always leaving nothing behind me. And the MK Ultra, that was to me like, you are crazy, I mean, like, fuck you. Basically, what you're talking about doesn't make any sense, because this stuff is never going to happen anyways, anyhow. How oh, you're, basically, I, I said to myself, lady, you're talking to yourself. You're talking a lot of shit, basically, wasting my time, but go ahead. Since I'm drugged up here and can resist, cannot defend myself, go ahead and give your five minutes of uh, EPP, basically, economically, economic, economic propaganda program, whatever. Have your five minutes, release yourself, and fuck off. Basically, this is how it went during MK Ultra, from my point of view. But these dots did, due to million of them, uh, I told you how she started. She started before she even left to the university. And uh, in her first year of the university, she was like, uh, that she's going to start to drive me crazy with misrepresenting me all kinds of issues. Uh, she was scared uh, to a degree that she would ask, uh, but this kind of stuff, is this not going to do something bad to me? And so on and so forth. Okay, so this was the key element. And the problem was that the spoons uh, rather were smaller to a degree that I would throw them away on several occasions and have created in my head idea about smaller spoon than this side of the spoon um, on what nobody bothered with the spoons anymore. So this here that you see right here, these are the original spoons. So one effect was already created in my head. In my head, thanks to mom or police or whoever it was, and they always check inside whenever I'm out of here, uh, the effect already was done. By creating an idea about me, in me, uh, to some extent, that I got in my head, convinced myself that these are just useless, shitty stuff inside that you cannot even use. And that's the way it was. It was always so small spoon that you would go and do like this, not like this. My spoons that I had never were like this. Spoons I had, they made sure I would have, were always like almost half of what you see here. Totally, totally useless stuff. I only have 5% remaining and I'm going to connect the charger. Hold on, please. It is important for me to stress, it is important for me to stress that during MK Ultra not only small spoons were used but during mk ultra i was also instructed to see what i didn't state to you but i easily could uh that it was a police investigator because this 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 was a brainwash you're gonna you're gonna get the stamp it's gonna look exactly like this uh, this is exactly the damage we're going to do to you. They demonstrated bullet on the issue on I don't know how many times. At the time, I did not even know <laughs> what exactly these people are referring to. During MK Ultra, I had no idea they were talking about even the watch dials. Uh, even that they demonstrated me, they had to remind me. They had to remind me of basically what is in front of me during MK Ultra for me to <clears throat> know basically what exactly was in front of me and uh, what they are saying to me. And I still didn't understand how exactly am I going to go and where did they got an idea. I was saying to myself, fuck you. <laughs> uh, you're saying that... Uh, you going to do this to me? Uh, in my head was simply, why the hell would I even go and do that kind of stuff? 
if you understand me. Why the hell would I even go? I never played with the watches. I never played with uh, hands, uh, hand is uh, like, it's not a marker, marker are the numbers, synonym, synonymous with the numbers, but markers are uh, actually hands are uh, the pointers, basically, you know, our minute and second is a third hand on the watch. I never took watch apart in my lifetime till in 2022, somewhere in the mid of the 2022, something like this. I don't even know when in 2022, a year ago maybe is when I started to play with taking apart a watch for the first time in my life, actually. And so I never put any attention to this kind of stuff. Uh, and I didn't know where the hell would these people get an idea that I'm going to go and do that kind of stuff. I had no intentions to touch. My intention solely was to go to the store, purchase myself, watch, and go on with it. And that, that's all it was. Um, because I didn't have the money, it came to my mind, purchase the watch. Uh, just as long as it works. As a matter of fact, more than one, so that when they destroy you watches, you don't have to worry about those destroyed watches. Uh, and but rather will concentrate on life uh, by just taking another watch from the backpack, whatever, and throw one on wrist and go. In Poland, they destroyed me. I don't know how many watches, too. Stolen, destroyed, and so on. This was my life, basically. Having watches destroyed all the fucking time. Um, <clears throat> then I kind of realized that cheaper than to just go and uh, <clears throat> it would be basically, if possible, to replace the mechanism inside by myself. Uh, and I got into this thing, literally to reduce myself costs. What police investigators doing the damage have related to AliExpress, to Alibaba, even as uh, the one who will help them promote their business and stuff like this. This is not the police investigators, this is something else, but... Okay, um, okay, through causing damage to me that other people are going to learn <clears throat> how to reduce their costs and stuff like this, and eventually that's going to help growth to AliExpress, Alibaba, and that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, for me, it's important that you understand that during MK Ultra, small shit like this was used, uh, C vitamin was used frequently during the routes and they had me uh, drink literally from what you see here as we would go to the graveyards uh, to the various locations that's exactly what uh, they would have me drink the C vitamin from uh, mixed with the water and also, <clears throat> they poisoned me by throwing C vitamin in a bottles like this uh, till I no longer wanted to drink because I, just by observing the plastic and C vitamin inside, I pointed them out that they are poisoning me. And as soon as I pointed them out, drugged up under MK Ultra, that they are poisoning me with this stuff, they stop doing that stuff and they start doing other stuff and so on. That's how it goes. They know very well what they're doing. No worries. But it was always, oh yes, because it is poisonous. Then they start to teach you that it is poisonous and that you're not supposed to drink from that. That's how it goes under MK Ultra. The bag, this was the bag from my laptop. This is the bag from my laptop. 
that's where I would put also the laptop inside to protect one from the external factors inside of the backpack um, and <clears throat> According to MK Ultra, it would be a police officer who would uh, make sure that the bag I would place the laptop inside would be exactly as this here with the holes like this. Very important to note. Uh, my mother played the hell out of the bags. The bags I would store would disappear. Uh, it frequently exploded into arguments at home because I would store the bags and the bags would continuously disappear. I would try to grab as many bags also in the supermarkets and so on and my mother would have them tied in a such a way that you could do nothing other but then to break back so everything i was sorting out inside of the grocery stores and so stuff like this every step i was doing was based on stress and i wouldn't say <clears throat> sabotage uh, but would just rather refer to the words of my father a mother is employee of the city She's a city worker, a city employee. Never was inside in there. This never was the case. Um, how the, ca the hell it came to life that the back for the laptop uh, end up discolorized like this after that's what's in that's what's impressive part is how the hell this back come to be discolorized like this after already Probably maybe even year now. No, not a year yet, but like nine months ago is what I'm referring to the time probably. Uh, to this degree like this, um, it eventually became dirtier and filthier and dirtier and dirtier and dirtier and dirtier, and dirtier with uh, what I had stored inside were uh, belts and uh, headphones and um, I'm gonna have to show you headphones um, headphones all filthy nasty uh bag was becoming more and more and more and more discolorized more darker and darker and darker till you know you you see the, the you can notice the the difference between the two um till yesterday i have spent Shit, I have thrown away all the papers and stuff. Have it upstairs, but I'm not gonna go upstairs. Uh, cleaning the headphones big time together with the cable. Um, and obviously, I'm gonna have to toss this bag away. Uh, it is quite useless. How the hell this bag would get filtered like this? Um, based on my practice, I cannot relate to. 
in a little bit I'm going to relate to you to neurologist, a physician who appeared in the media, a hundred year old physician, or rather is a criminal, not a physician. In a few minutes I'm going to refer to this criminal who was involved since 1995. He did nothing but damage. Uh, as I stated, I cannot refer to. Yesterday, however, I cleaned this stuff. Uh, this is basically what... Maybe some of it is even here or through. I was told the watches. Um, and this one here, for instance, that's, that's correct. This one here is the authentic field inherited from the dirty bag but this two not these two are just belts for which I was instructed already during NK Ultra are gonna discolorize due to rather poor quality issues if it's true that is true this one I have never even worn no. But this one here, if true, if it's true, is true. If it's not true, uh, is just not true. I don't need this band. I was using one. Obviously, for what you see right there, it started to get nasty like this after already like a third, fourth day of use. We no longer will even use one. I don't want. One week I have used this belt to walk around with a belt like this. Uh, so for me to say, let's say, not necessary, but I still don't know if not from that the same stuff police did to me. It's a possible thing. Uh, not necessary to completely related issues. These are just the uh, bands I'm going to commission and use on some other opportunity now not <laughs> of course i will have them clean before they use <clears throat> but i can tell you that the politicians involved in this crime including the and special royalties really didn't like me uh here i have found for instance uh some royals cleaning um, cable the white cable that you see right there uh, that insisted me that he wants to have one clean and I'm talking about King Bumibol from Thailand for the bag I was promised it's gonna get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier Till eventually I'm going to start to do a cleaning. If this is exactly what happened. The bag all through one seated inside of the backpack was just becoming nastier and nastier till it almost looked like if you would load one with a coal or something. So, guess what? What exactly was the point about doing this kind of stuff to me? The point about doing this kind of stuff to me was for me to state a whole bunch of issues I told you during MK Ultra was brainwashed with. Um, the police officer stated to me when you will encounter this here. Uh, you also gonna find a spoon like this uh, inside one of this. They know that I will be using this to carry the stuff to keep my stuff protected rather than leaving one inside of the room when I go for a walk, when I go out, when I go to the city where I do my stuff. <clears throat> so my going out there and making a wild claim that this kind of spoon was planted to me inside in here just so that I would um, 
have a sign. Uh, they, they claim, we're always going to leave you something to remind you. And it's true. If you go to postal office, pick up the watches, they're all scratched, all fucked up. Uh, stuff destroyed before you even collect one, pick one up. <clears throat> if you buy one in the store, they even plant and destroy items. And they always leave something to remind me, which I also have successfully video recorded and pointed out. But in this case, this would be a mistake. And when we go back to this nine dots here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as a matter of fact, eight and nine, it would be a really, really, really badass mistake for me to start think that, in fact, it was a police officer who left me a uh, spoon like this, when in fact these spoons are small, if you compare to scenario they brainwashed me on that MK Ultra, and what they even used in real time here at home, leaving me like a little spoons, which I failed to video record. And what police investigators stated me, that's also going to be, because they give you the whole scenario on how they're going to fuck you. And during MK Ultra, you don't see how, you don't even understand what they are talking to you about. You ask, why, why are you saying to me so that you will understand how we, how we destroyed you. It's like, <clears throat> and how could I possibly go wrong about this stuff? And he said, yeah, you could, if you would record. He gave me a clue, a small spoon that we will leave you uh, several times in the kitchen where you store your vitamins. Um... It's not the spoon that is original, doesn't belong here, and that's the spoon that's gonna fuck you. So, but you will not remember this anyways and this and that. They were really, really sure about how they're gonna fuck me, and they really wanted to fuck me in a such a way that um, how can I say? A really, really malicious stuff, I mean that's actually another issue that goes that amounts on top of these issues. That, that's an issue that I would relate to, like rather to frustrate, you know? Something that you should figure out and you did not figure out and you figure out after you're already severely, severely fucked kind of issue. For which they also told me they would leave me like, you know, from the bird's fur, they would leave you the, like from the bird's fur and they were leaving me this bird's fur, you know, all over the place, even that I'm quite okay. I'm, I'm quite satisfied um, with what I performed. <laughs> I think that the bird's fur eventually is going to keep the watches that were delivered to me through the Slovenian Postal Services in dismay and at horror of the people who did this. And I told you what I plan on doing with these people, no less. Um, so, it would be a bad mistake if I would state, due to brainwash, due to this damage here they did, for the proof, I'm gonna, we're going to leave you like a long spoon. And yes, there was a spoon that... Here is the question, here is the question, and um, um, I am about this question though uh, not really, really certain because uh, most likely I was the one who did put this long eventually spawn inside of one of those cups that you see right here i have several of them where i keep things stored to protect them from external factors um 
that's how I keep headphones and stuff like that. Um, a different kind of headphones and so on. And so the scenario from MK Ultra was so strong, the brainwash, that it made me jump from that filthy bag right there, for which I was even told it's going to get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier till you're going to start to clean. Because uh, I challenged them with, what about if I will not clean? Oh, you will. Why? Because it's going to get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier if you're not going to clean. It's going to get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier if you're not going to clean. So strong that I really wasn't sure whether I even placed the spoon inside because I started to protest due to size of these spoons and due to what he stated, he promised me he's going to do that. He's going to put the oversized spoon like this inside. But I'm pretty sure that I was actually the one who did put the spoon inside. Even bigger problem for me because truly I always use regular spoons like teaspoons. You know, they figure out that in MK Ultra that I like teaspoons better than anything in the world that everything that i want to eat with a teaspoon it was kind of a funny issue and i really like little teaspoons very much um so strong that i always that i almost made total miscalculation about this here and you know when you're in doubts like this you know i don't know, I don't know it's um better to add to this nine here an extra dot just to make sure that all these dots are not missing that's how you eventually preserve your sanity because sanity always starts with the lies and sometimes the lies that you're told under mk ultra start to grow so strong uh, that start to develop on a long term a real problem that eventually becomes no longer solvable. So it's always better if you're not 100% sure which in this case I am not. I would say in this case now when I thought about it, when I took time about it because even worse factor is is to make claims fast and not take time to go back in time and analyze this thing 75 percent i'm certain that yeah i was the one who eventually put probably even this oversized stuff inside so how this stuff came to place but this stuff came to place sometimes in uh, 2003 up to 2003 uh, every issue inside of the house, inside of the room, was probably already rehearsed a thousand times by the neighbors. By They moved in. You would always have uh, police officers. You, was, you would always have at least one police investigator and neighbor, like same age like myself, more or less, inside. Uh, brainwashing you on issues they encountered with whatever you have inside of your living area, inside of your room, inside of the kitchen, inside uh, on the stairways. They were making me walk up and down the stairways also and so on. So this shit went on like 24-7. You're talking about 24 hours being subject to MK Ultra and going through absolutely every subject, misinterpreted view on every item you have stored inside of your room is inside of the kitchen uh mother gave all the habits all the stuff how and they started to misinterpret whichever way they wanted you to see this as a new distorted completely fucked up demented picture see yourself on that picture uh and in the end they have turned this into a total harassment uh based on see nothing, hear nothing, know nothing case, yeah? Alien, 
is what they refer to me as alien. In 2003, however, if I go back to this issue, in 2003, it was a Norwegian psychologist, Rebecca Elbot, who was also playing with this stuff. And they were observing, she was observing them, and uh, she started to question them, why are you telling him this kind of stuff? I mean, why... Why are you telling him this kind of stuff? Because it was already stuff that was related to totally improbable stuff. You know? Stuff that the MK Ultra members, MK Ultra staff members, including psychiatrists, police officers, investigators, uh, have made mistakes about it. They have displayed, they alone started to display it great amount of mental health problems. Uh, the atmosphere was laxed, laid back, uh, fucked up, uh, almost dealing with the junkies, basically, not really professional. And they alone started to develop all kinds of um, <clears throat> problematic issues which came to attention to the certain psychiatrists which they observed and then based on those issues they started to instill not this here this started this this was a scenario that took place sometimes i don't know maybe in 2013 not past 2015 but it was all kinds of issues that they started to make funny mistakes about it, which they realized consequently by playing with this stuff, it could very play very, very important role in creating certain issues that would relate to um, to my case in the future and in which I would be compelled with through example of let's say hiding bags like my mother was all of a sudden all the bags would disappear then you would go through the uh, through the living room and you would see certain items appear out of nowhere and those items all of a sudden they would disappear and you would have another category of items that would appear so she was like triggering like a memories and it was the same thing in uh in 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 uh in a passage through, um, you know, upstairs as you go uh, toward rooms from the kitchen and so on. Uh, in that area, there is like a storage also, um, a large drawer, if you want to say, I don't know how you say that. Um, ugh, I don't know how you say this stuff uh, right now. Um, and it would be the same shit. It would be items that I have not seen God knows how fucking long. Uh, items that would appear and disappear. And clothing. My clothing, which was used in MK Ultra, and I never wear otherwise. That kind of stuff. The hell I am talking about. Uh, so not a difficult thing to push an individual into a certain mode, into a certain impression which was created through the violent torture techniques uh, during MK Ultra torture, if you understand me. Not a difficult thing to do. Not a difficult thing to do. Uh, the thing about it is, I realized that this kind of issues, when somebody is in this kind of environment, this is a demented environment, are very, very hazardous for people engaging in a traffic uh, working at locations, a workplace that are you know, where you can be eventually exposed to uh, a dangerous, uh, actually, uh, attention demanding factors. Let's say if you work at a machine and you're not cautious, careful enough, and you put the fingers over there and you know, just pull you the fingers inside, uh, and voila, you're without the finger or. Uh, you might have ran over somebody with a uh, forklift or something like this, 
uh, drive in the opposite direction of the traffic, run maybe the red light on a semaphore and stuff like this. This is exactly what we are talking about. We are talking about uh, developing a patterns that are based on the wrong, uh, you know, even the dot, the extra dot that I added to this stuff should never be here. But yeah, in my case, I have so many other issues in my mind. Um, I shouldn't afford myself any extra. One thing is when you take this away. Another one is when you doubt yourself. Uh, it's still a healthier way than to convince yourself more and more into uh, what brings you eventually to collapse, to the breakdown, if you understand me, what I'm trying to say. Uh, how far can this violent psychiatry uh, intuit in people's lives with literally <clears throat> jeopardizing human lives, uh, placing them at stake uh, so that it can uh, rationalize its existence is eventually the main issue of this topic here. This is why I did this video, so for you to understand how important it is. Um, <clears throat> this is not, this is a world, this is a psychiatric Walt Disney. This is what psychiatrists basically dream about um, can be done to the human being, something so disgusting, you know. But I want to use this opportunity for the regular people to understand uh, based on what, what psychiatry, maybe even the meaning of the what psychiatry is evolving around, you know. So I hope that you, you will consider these topics that I discussed in this video. You will understand that <clears throat> you could even find yourself as a psych at psychiatrist one day doubting yourself without really understanding why you doubt yourself and when in fact you could well be an mk ultra uh subject they they, they like to refer to this stuff as experimentation but no i i don't want to have nothing to do with that uh, I cannot relate to this as experimentation. I cannot even uh, relate in my case because of the degree of violence involved. I wouldn't even consider to regard to this as a, <clears throat> you know, so to say, you know, um, experimentation, MK Ultra, whatever. This, for me, this was just a regular butchery. And this butchery, you know, was exercised through what they call MK Ultra, but really violent brainwash drugs make you completely paralyzed, totally defenseless, ensuring that you would not even think about defending your views, uh, ensure that you would be severely punished for demonstrating any kind of resilience to the violence uh, ensured that you would completely, completely misinterpret the uh, reality of the world uh, based on pure violence. You know, that's when I talk to you about this violence which took place at memorials of the dedicated to the World War II partisans, World War II resistance. Uh, and then demonstrate you the righteousness when they obtain that from you. The nothing to want to have to do with the people uh, whom they claim at the beginning you will condemn. Therefore, those who won the World War II uh, prove the righteousness based on uh, you're nothing any longer want to have to do what they claim 
you will go against, but you didn't. So this is built, the whole thing is built like in a total anger, uh, self-denial, uh, proving yourself uh, even wrong, right, and so on. That's how dangerous this world of psychiatry is. So I owe you this video to the world, for the world to understand basically how this shit functions. Now let me demonstrate this 100-year-old lunatic who participated in these butcheries since 1995, and he proudly parades on the media with belief that I'm going to go and give one kudos, bend one down, you know, for what he eventually stated for this video that I will make. This is going to be the video that will be decided everything about me. No, sir, I am going to tear your balls. Your balls, I'm going to tear them apart on the court with the police. You are not going to be deciding about anything. You are a lolo, a bandit. A regular criminal. I am nothing special. I am only special enough to have survived your Auschwitz on open. Yeah, I, I really don't care whether you're gonna call this uh, video maybe even ugly. That's up to you. Know that I do love older people, uh, just like your children. But you know, in this case. This individual was practicing butchery on me for no less than 30 years, uh, including years I was not even hijacked, abducted, or anything like this, which was the case upon my return, since my return from Poland. Nobody really had me in hands. Um, since 2020, nobody had me in hands. That's three years I can celebrate uh, not being redistributed for purposes of torture any place, to any place, to any location at any time. Um, a good friend of Bill Clinton, neurologist and physician, was in fact the one who stated it's going to be a video like this is going to be decided about everything. So this crap here that you have seen, that kind of stuff, this is what this guy here wanted. This is what this guy here, and I'm not going to say that he wanted that he ran this, but he did himself enough in this case to step on the picture Literally inside of this room where I'm at, in this father's room with this trophies of his and stuff. Storage. Demanded for me to video record this video. This house during MK Ultra sessions were full of physicians, politicians, police, uh, prime minister, ministers, royals would visit and stay at times um it was a very busy place during mk ultra sessions it just happened so the scenario about the bag scenario about the watch dials this stuff right here that was to be triggered in me variety of uh falsely advertised information in mk ultra uh, could well be a practice of this individual. This is a totally, totally MK Ultra individual. This is an individual who built his medical career, I think, even on MK Ultra. Involved since 1995, managed to prolonged his physician license, literally through involvement in this case, on how he will help me. Have participated to all major. Uh, involvements here uh literally meeting vladimir putin meeting people from eastern europe top people uh putin is uh apparatchiks over the course of years since 1995 and for whom bill clinton claimed me 
uh, this will be the guy that will help you out also with other issues and so on and so forth this will be the guy who will confirm and this and that uh, let me explain to you something book shouldn't be judged by the cover um in in many ways in this case um i got in a in a problem with him for a variety of issues uh which one of the issues i have explained completely in detail based on what this case was created for which this individual knew very well in only have contributed to more and more problems to be more and more severe uh, for a case to last as much as as long as possible and to even provide uh, attorney services advocacy for Bill Clinton for Joe Biden for Donald Trump for Barack Obama for all the presidents he met over the years for the people who authorized people who pressured down the ladder down the pyramid down the hierarchical order on the u.s congress on law enforcement departments for the genocide it's really genocide it's not even crime this is no mk ultra this is what this individual who demanded for me uh to explain issues he alone did not even dream about failed somehow to understand uh, and also make me feel special enough to see myself in him all right so that's all that's how i'm going to end this video and i'm going to give you a date and time in respect to psychology uh, norwegian psychologist rebecca elbot in 2003 in slovenia this stuff they practiced already that was totally not rational that was that was that was like rather would depict uh, mk ultra step members in they came to attention in 2003 uh, them as demented they practiced this crap already for like two three years they already lost them so like in 2001 it appeared to me that my neighbors, such as Andre Uhl, Donna Collins, they didn't know anymore the difference between the underwear and shirt. Literally, when it came to this case, it was all without any discipline. They were all disarrayed. They were all, their minds were all scattered around. It appeared to me like if it was magic that took them over, not me. And for many issues like this i started to see myself in it and uh have developed my own ways to defend uh sanity basically so you cannot win anything with anything other than by with winning with the sanity thanks for watching this video till next time